Hello, my lovely listeners. Welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Let's listen to Flora the Fairy. Three stories in one. Cat Trouble. Mum was taking Flora the Fairy to Nana and Grandpop's house. Flora didn't want to go. Nana and Grandpop were going to look after her while Mum went shopping. Flora loved them, but they had a cat called Rufus, and Flora was scared of him. Flora didn't like the way Rufus walked softly and silently. She didn't like the way he followed her around, and she didn't like the way he stared at her with his big, scary green eyes. Mum knocked on the door, and Nana opened it. Where's Rufus? Rufus didn't seem to be around, so Flora went in. Mum kissed her and flew off. Nana took Flora into the kitchen. She sat at the table and did some drawing. Behind her, the cat flap opened slowly. Flora turned round, and there was Rufus creeping up on her. He was staring at her with his big, scary green eyes. Flora screamed. What's going on? Said Grandpa. They tried to calm Flora down, but it was no use. Oh dear! Feeling bad. Please put Rufus outside again, Flora said. So Grandpa did what she asked and locked the cat flap. Sorry, Rufus. Flora calmed down at last. She helped Nana do some mixing and stirring, but Flora could see Rufus through the window. She thought he looked sad. Next, Grandpa read Flora her favorite story, but Rufus was outside Grandpa's window. Flora thought he sounded lonely. Meow. Then they had a drink and something to eat and watch TV, but Rufus was outside that window as well. Flora thought he might be hungry too. Oh no! It's raining. Now Flora felt bad. Rufus was outside because of her. It's all my fault. Nana and Grandpa didn't look very happy either. Poor Rufus. I think he's trying to tell you something, Flora," said Grandpa. "Shall we let him in and find out what it is?" said Nana. But Flora was still scared of Rufus. Meow. Please don't let him in. I've got an idea," said Grandpa. Suddenly, he whispered in Nana's ear, and Nana smiled, making friends. How would you like to play a special game, Flora? Said Nana. Now, where do I put those old face paints? Flora sat very still while Nana painted her face. Soon, Flora looked exactly like a cat. Nana and Grandpa waved their wands, and Flora could feel herself changing. She was a cat. She walked softly and silently. She stared at Nana and Grandpa with her big eyes. She was following them and rubbing against their legs. So now she knew Rufus walked quietly because that's what cats do, and he stared at her and followed her about because he liked her. Nana and Grandpa waved their wands, and Flora was herself again. She went straight to the cat flap and let Rufus in. Flora looked into his big green eyes. They weren't so scary any more. Flora and Rufus touched noses and. Made friends, and later when Mom came to take Flora home, guess who didn't want to go? Thank you for listening.